Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Nice, beautiful spot here in San Francisco. Down that direction you can see Sutro Towers, all of San Francisco. Towards the distance you see a tip of the Golden Gate Bridge. But we're going that direction where the trees are. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Fort Funston area of San Francisco. The beach is that direction. Sutro Towers is that direction. I'm walking in some soft sand. The rain ended a couple days ago. Sand's still wet. There's these old bunkers. You used to be able to walk through. I want to see if it's still here. And in case it is, I have a flashlight. We're gonna see if they're still there. Let's go check this out. Let's go. The Sunset Trail with all the dogs. Always remember, pick up after your pets. Check out that view of the Pacific. Fairlawn Islands in the distance. We're headed towards those trees right there. But check out this view. Right there in the middle of the screen, you can see Golden Gate Bridge, Sutro Tower right over there. And if I do my 360 pan, right in the middle, that mountain top, Mount Davidson, coming this way, Guadalupe Canyon. This is dog park, so you can hear a lot of dogs barking. But again, we are headed that direction. I'm stepping on all these iceberg plants because the grass and the, the grass, the sand, is a little too, a little too wet. So I'm gonna step on these, keep my traction. But man, this view is beautiful. And the crazy thing about this, if I zoom in that direction, if you look at those trees right there in the middle of the screen, see if I can point at it, right there, Grandview Park, did a vlog there before, right there, Sutro, I did a vlog there, I did a vlog right underneath the Sutro Tower, right there, Mount Davison, right there, straight ahead, I did a vlog there. And then that park right up there, I did a vlog there. I did a vlog pretty much covering this whole neck of the area. And not that long ago, I was on the other side of the bridge doing a vlog there. How cool is that? Normally they have hang gliders that are taken off from over here. But I'm not sure if today's the day that they don't fly or hang glide. Or if it's just too windy or what. But initially I was going to vlog about them. But they're not here. But check out that Pacific. You see Hawaii? You see Japan? It's straight out that direction. Alright, now I'm still walking. This time I went back to the sand. Because that's the direction I want to go. And I have to see if these bunkers are still open. I hope, I hope they are. I really do hope they are. Because it was cool back then when we used to come out here. We used to come out here at night. We used to park at the bottom of Lake Merced, that direction. Used to walk up the hill. And these bunkers, it was a free-for-all. We used to try to scare people. And at the same time, 
We're scaring ourselves. But that's what being kids were about back then. Finally made it to where the sand will turn into cement, where you see all those people are over there. This path, where the cement path is, takes a little longer because it goes all the way around. Better view, just takes a little longer to get to where I want to get to. I want to get to that spot right away. And hopefully again, the bunkers are still open. Remember those vlogs that I did about a while ago about those old monument tombstones that San Francisco couldn't find their ownership with and they scattered them throughout the city? This is some of them right here. They put them only on one side here, but then there's more on that side over there. So if you really, really look, some of them are already buried in the grass or in the sand. I keep saying grass in the sand. But if you really, really look, you'll still find a name on some of these, which to me is kind of creepy. But yeah, these are old tombstones. They used to belong in an old San Francisco cemetery. As we walk, you can see a better view of San Francisco, Lake Merced down in the corner. And this is the direction right there. That's the one I'm trying to get into. That's the entrance right there. 1938, World War II. This whole thing right here is a bunker. And from the looks of it, this part right here looks open. But there used to be an entrance, which they closed out, which is kind of sad because I'm looking at it right now. And it is closed out. You can hear the echo of my voice. But this right there, that was the entrance to the whole bunker. You walk in there and you can walk through the whole thing. But it closed it. This part right here is still open. And the other entrance to the bunker, which is right there as well, they also closed. But this whole part right up here, this used to be a big cannon. They used to sit right on top of this. I'm going to make my way up there, see if I could actually get to the top to see if we can still see the, the old little lookout that looked out towards the Pacific. That part with all the graffiti, that's the top part of the little bunkers. And again, it goes all the way down and across. They closed it. There's nothing left to see. So I'm just going to make my way towards the coast and just look out towards the ocean. As I make my way towards the edge of the cliff, you're greeted with the Pacific Ocean. How cool and beautiful is that view? Check out that view. If you look straight ahead in the distance can't really see it off the camera but if you look in the horizon right there it's the Fairlawn Islands home of the great white sharks and then down here you see a bunch of people at the beach pretty cool this is towards the edge of the cliff this way look This is a way that I am not going to make my way down. You could make your way down this way. If you walked around, there's a little, there's a little parking spot up that direction to walk around, but I am not going to do that. How cool is that view? The whole Pacific right behind me. Santa Cruz out that direction as well. And then the North Bay, Port Reyes, Oyster Point, all right there. Fairlawn Islands and my little trustworthy camera down there doing a time lapse of the nice ocean. Pretty cool.
pretty as this is, it's time for me to make my way back. Back that direction. Making it past the sand and back on a regular concrete. Passing all the old tombstones that's been broken down. I'm on concrete. Sun doesn't set for about another couple hours. But that's that's a nice sight right there. Nice sight. You can always just come out here, relax, think. They got a little tent set up over there in the distance. But over here, it's a nice little cool place to chill and relax. Contemplate life by licking, watching the sunset. And dealing with all the barking dogs as well. Before coming out here, know the rules. Cliffs towards the end over there, they're unstable. Keep an eye on your dogs. At the same time, keep an eye on yourself. So many people's fallen off these cliffs and 911 has to be called and the rescue team has to come out there because they're too busy staring at the horizon. I don't blame them, but protect yourself at all times. Came out here to look at the nice view and I see an old, not sure what that used to be, some stairs leading up to the top. I'm gonna have to do my research and find out what that used to be. But that looks pretty cool. But not as cool as this view. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. All right guys, that's gonna do it from Fort Funston. Nice place to visit. Sun's about to set. I'm about to go home and relax. Quick adventure here in San Francisco. Little places that you can come visit that's free. As long as you respect the area that you're in. Don't make a mess, don't litter. If you bring a dog, pick up after your dog. Always remember, pick up after your dog. But this is a cool spot. I'm gonna have to pay a visit here again one day because you see where that flag is. When it's windy, you got hang gliders. A lot of hang gliders here. But they're not here today. So I decided to just take advantage of this nice, beautiful view here in San Francisco. The bunkers that I wanted to go into, they closed them, no entrance, which is okay. This view right here, worth the trip. Thanks for coming with me on this adventure. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to hit that notification bell, that's totally up to you. I put a vlog out almost every day, I'm trying to beat the rain. And when it does rain, I'll still put a vlog out. I will. Thanks for watching, guys. Quick, nice adventure here in San Francisco as the roar of the Pacific Ocean was behind me. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. What the heck are you? What the heck are you? Gotta make my way back. There's a trail. But these icebergs are a lot easier to walk through than the trail. So the trail, I walk. I made this.